Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new reaction of Mr. Robot. Today we got season one, episode two. Now, before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. In the first reaction, I said, because this is a new series, I want to see that you guys are interested in this. So leaving a like and subscribing and also commenting shows me that you guys are interested in this series. And then I will continue this series. So far, we're on episode two today. Yay. We're back with Mr. Robot himself, Elliot. The first episode was a really cool episode. We got introduced to Elliot. We got introduced to this world. There's an underground hacker society. And then there's potentially also another hacker society. And I'm guessing that they're going to both be fighting for Elliot's attention because Elliot is so gifted. There will be one group that wants his help. And then there will be another group that wants his help. But those groups are also versing each other. So... I think if a show goes this direction, that would be interesting. But outside of that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two of Mr. Robot. Again, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Man a gun, then he can rob a bank. Or give a man a bank, then he can rob the world. It's a bit of a silly expression. It's a pretty good expression. Technically, what we're doing might be considered illegal, which is why I'm surrounded by 11 of our most annoying lawyers. Okay. What's he cooking? I want to offer you a position here at Evil Corp. No, thank you. This guy also looks more evil than he did in the first episode. What do you say? No. Can I... Can I think about it? <laughs> Valid reply. Look. Look at the separation between them. The pillar. You know... By the end of the quarter, we're going to revamp our entire network and consolidate our security protocols. Ooh, look how he stepped back like he's afraid of him. Here with me. This is an important choice you're making, Elliot. No? I think I'm happy where I am. Yeah, he's got his own code. Oh, code! Because he's a ha tech got hacker. What? Huh? Well, I thought I'd ask. Interesting framing on these shots. Look, they've done this a few times so far, where the character is like to the left of the frame and a lot of empty space on the right side. Oh, and it's like he disappeared into the darkness. I'm a whore for good cinematography. Come on, you never seen JFK? Oliver Stone movie? Do yourself a favor and watch it. Thanks for the movie recommendation, I guess. No. And yeah? No. Yeah, I'm coming up. Oh, is that his drug dealer? Also his fuck buddy? Is your radio messed up? I feel like he looked at his license plate because he's going to be doing some hacking about that guy. Shayla. No, Elliot. Promises matter, okay? You know, I take this shit to heart. She's a drug dealer with a moral code? Hey, man. What? You think I forgot about you? Trust me, I need you now more than- Me? Hey, I'm back. Evil Corp's corporate mail servers, they haven't patched anything since Shellshock. He doesn't even use two-step verification. I mean, verification. they obviously know you're going to hack them. This has to be some, like, another test. This doesn't make sense. Did he know I was gonna hack him? Bingo. I need to wipe everything. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if you're him, right? He was already paranoid before they invited him in. And now they invited him in and showed that, yeah, this secret society potentially does exist. So now they just like let him go. Like, you think he's not going to freak out more? You're going to need a new PC set up, buddy. It's okay. I need a new PC as well. Taking more than I should. I'm breaking my rule, but come on. It's an off week. He's freaking out more than ever. Harry Colby's arrest is on everyone's mind. Screen might as well be the same thing nowadays. And when's Mr. Robot gonna contact me again? What's he waiting for? Did I just destroy a man's life for no reason? Hmm. That's interesting that he's thinking about that. I mean, who knows what these F Society hackers are gonna do next? What did he just say? What did you just say? Who knows how deep these data dumps are gonna get? And Evil Corp. Was she supposed to know that they're F Society? They're threatening to dump everything unless the FBI frees Colby. They released the video this morning. Oh, okay, so they're going more public with it now. 
That's how he knows. Hello, evil cop. We are F Society. Over the years, we've been watching you. <laughs> he does sound like Mr. Robot, the guy that he met. Our latest talk was our last warning. Meet our demands and we will consider not destroying you. Release our leader, Terry Colby, from your illegitimate prison immediately. <laughs> Release our leader. That's funny. The people are realizing they don't have freedom of choice so long as you exist. The people are waking up. And or we will kill you. Consider yourself warned. Okay. I, I didn't think about this in the first episode, like... Is F Society the good guys or the bad guys? You know what I mean? Yo, it'll give you the feels, y'all, I swear. You see these free all the S's you too. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I gotta go. Um, my neighbors complain about the dog barking again. Awkward as usual. Awkward as usual, Elliot. Now, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll take it if you leave us alone. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. All right, y'all appreciate it, man. Y'all really, guys, have a good day. You tell me this guy in New York so just. You tell me this rapper in New York just gave him a CD for free. Usually in New York, when they're out there, they're trying to make money. They'll be like, yo, give me whatever you have, like $5, $10, and then they try to work you for more money. Did she just let herself in? I was waiting for you. You were supposed to come last night. Did you forget? Come where? <laughs> I don't know. Probably inside of her. I'm sorry, That was that's inappropriate. So I'm, I got my females confused. She's ah, she's the hacker chick from from present. Mr. Robot's crew. I, I got her confused with his drug dealer. Holy shit, my brain is broken. All it took was two white girls. Oh, okay. We followed. Wait, does she see them too? We got big things in the store. Big things. <laughs> Ominous, but okay. You're cute, so let's follow you. Sure, yeah. Why not? What's her deal? Ah, she's a complicated woman. Most malware coders are, am I right? Shut up at my apartment. That is a good question. I thought you said you guys don't meet outside. We're gonna blow it up. Why would you blow? Okay, so now, okay, so they're just terrorists. Tyrell Wellick knows. What they want him to know. He's a corporate robot just like the rest of them. Besides, mm, he's underestimating him. She may look innocent, but I'd be careful. She's got some Allah Akbar in her. Well, um, anyone living around the plant? And they all die? Oh, well, give him a head start. Sound some alarms. They'll be fine. Mm, that's not like a hundred percent guaranteed that nobody's gonna get hurt. It's war. People will die. Say them all. And once we blow up the pipeline, Darlene's worm will kick into high gear at the U.S. data center. So these guys are just terrorists. One thing, Elliot. Are you a one or a zero? What does that mean? Are you a yes or a no? Oh, it's a coding joke. You've been staring at a computer screen way too long, homie. That's not that binary. Isn't it? <laughs> I love his reply. The little homie also that he threw in there. You walk out that door, you decided to do nothing. To say no. Which means you do not come back. Oh wait, hold on. I may have a girlfriend here. Lonely killed your father and how you wished he'd done something about it, but he didn't. Because he was a zero. Just like you're being right now. Fuck you. Walks out. See, they targeted him because of his relationship. Or his dad's relationship with the company as well. We can do it with or without you, but you're a part of it either way. Yeah, even your stupid hoodie can't protect you, bitch! She just keeps yapping, dude. That's right, I'm culpable now. No, we're culpable. You're in this with me. So start thinking of solutions now. Haha, <laughs> look how he looked at the camera. Just need to talk to Shayla. Oh, your girl. She in the tub. I don't, what? I'm worried he hurt her. You only do this. The only nigga I know to take withdrawal meds while he using. You're not allowed to say that. Forgot to introduce myself. Fernando, Fernando Vera, Shayla supplier, one of the worst human beings I've ever had. <laughs> Has all his drug transactions through emails, IMs, Twitter. The fact that the cops haven't caught him yet is beyond me. Yeah, this guy's a full-on idiot. Rock to sleep early. I haven't made the direct connection to a hit yet, but the math of guns plus bullets usually adds up to one. Oh, bro, straight up killing people. I take him down. I lose my drugs. And with everything going on right now, I can't have that. 
You get that? Really? A little selfish, Elliot. Well, you ain't never Googled it? And you gotta do that. The meaning of a person's name is important, bro. Yo, she good! I don't think she is. Matter of fact, I tried to kill myself a couple of times. Never could get that shit right. <laughs> Why do you try to give yourself a sad backstory now? You're a dick. People walk around, act like they know what hate means. Nah, no one does until you hate yourself. I mean, Damn, this dude getting kind of emotional, eh? Getting himself emotional, not me. I don't care about him. I should be thanking you. You brought her to me. Damn. Your star. Damn, he's 100% turning him in now. But make no mistake, that girl in there is mine. I fucked your girl. I trust you respect this boundary. Feel me? <laughs> You're getting turned in. That dude earlier today gave me that same look. One thing I gotta say is, it's a smart time to be scared, bro. This is an interesting show, because that guy, you know, he has the muscles, he has the guns, he has the threats. But really, Elliot in this show is the scary one, because he has the information. Hey. She's breathing? Wake up. Why was that asshole here? Why am I in the tub? Well, that's not good. He did bad stuff. You can't go back to him. Yeah, I don't need the pills. Just find someone else. I can't. He gives me a really good deal on the split. There it is again, the invisible hand at work, controlling us, even if it pushes us past our threshold of pain. It's all about the money, money, money. I'm serious, Elliot. There's nothing to be done here. It's not like I have a choice. Damn, I feel bad for her. That really sucks. Sure, I can try to find another dealer, but like Vera said, no one on the streets deals Suboxone. I know what you're thinking. The answer's too obvious. Vera may have been groping Shayla before, but he's graduated to rape. Just like Shayla, he's left me no choice. He can't be allowed to exist anymore. There you go. He's gonna give up his drugs and his relationship with that woman because she asked him not to do anything. How do we know if uh, we're in control? They're trying to constantly pick between two options. Is it just me or did it just censor the word shitty? Coke and Pepsi. McDonald's or Bur Pepsi? I'm a Pepsi man. The water we drink. Our health insurance. Even if we did, would it matter? If our only option is Blue Cross or Blue Shield, what the fuck is the difference? He got him. He got him. That turned out to be a mistake. Uh, like everything else. Brought up this issue before. This issue of not feeling like you're in control. Maybe your father felt the same way as you do now. Different. What's different is you found options, Elliot. That's the control you own. You don't have to just take what life gives you. Well, you have options, eh? You have different choices, different paths to go down. I cannot help you if you keep me in the dark. Shut up! Step. He has snapped. Another disc for the collection. Someone eventually will find all of these discs. It may not be this season, it may not be next season, but it will happen. Ask him tomorrow. Every time I try to play it or rip it, it just frees up my computer and spits it back out again. Dude, you are downloading a virus. Whoa. Are you saying something, babe? Something's wrong. This guy is cheating through emails? Who the hell cheats through Gmails? Up to Instagram DMs. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no, close the door. We're in. Whoa, in another language too. Is that Mandarin? I know how to take out the backups without blowing up the pipeline. You know, Elliot, I really feel like we resolved this thing between us. Didn't you, didn't you walk away? Bro, I found another solution. Come on, loop me back in. If you want me to let you back in, there's an understanding we have to come to, eh? A debt you have to pay. I thought you didn't believe in debts. Not <laughs> Good one. You're not gonna get into my head, man. Your David Koresh shit isn't gonna work on Tell me. Tell me how he died. We were close. Very close. He's my best friend. Made me swear to never tell anyone. Especially my mom. When he found out, he got 
pissed. Started yelling. Kept shoving me away, shoved me so hard. I fell backwards out the window. I fell and I broke my arm. Damn. Ow. That, his dad was really trying to hide that leukemia. We good? I understand what it's like to lose a parent. Did you ever think he was right? Right about what? Hurting you that day? Oh, he's gonna push him. Boy. No, he's gonna push him. That's the dead. I was eight years old. Yep. Asshole, dude. That's the debt. Choices, choices, choices. That was the theme of today's episode. I mean, it all starts with him making a choice whether he wants to work for Mr. Robot, whether he wants to work for the guys in the suits, right? It's all choices. And I love the way Elliot breaks it down in this episode. And once again, he solves another crime. He sends his drug dealer's dealer, also a mass criminal, away because, you know, that's the choice that he had to make. He had to give up. It was either a choice of keeping your drugs or keeping your friend safe. I guess that's his friend, right? He's friends with her. And he chose to keep his friend safe. But there also seems to be another hacker group around. So this world is just full of hackers. Who knows? Maybe our world is full of hackers, right? I forgot. What's the name of the blonde girl? Elliot's friend. So her dumb boyfriend picked up a random CD outside of the building where he works at. And he works at a security, um, at a net security company, something like that. And he picks up this guy's random CD, which it's very sus that that guy was there trying to sell these CDs. He wasn't even trying to sell them. He was giving them away for free. That's what I was saying. If you're in New York City, these people who usually try to sell their mix tape, they're trying to sell it. They're trying to get money back. And so, so yeah, it's very sus that that guy was just like, yeah, here you go. Take this CD for free. Go plug it into your computer. I, it's one of those things where you don't even plug in a random USB into your computer that you don't trust. And this guy was just putting that CD in and out. And now they got access to that guy's camera. And they potentially got that poor woman nude. And, oh, man. Invasion of privacy, dude. Invasion of privacy. That guy's also cheating, so it's going to be very easy to get rid of him. I guess Elliot's debt that he had to pay is actual pain. He probably broke an arm or something falling off that. I don't know how far up he was. But what was interesting about, you know, Mr. Robot's crew that I didn't think about in the first episode is that there is a real potential that they are that they are also bad guys in their own way. Like they kind of sound crazy, right? They're like we got to take society down and fix it all and that guy's like I have a revolution that I'm planning. It's a war. He was like okay with blowing up like a gas line, right? And Elliot was like, "Dude, there's people who work in this building who there's people living around it. What happens if we blow it up and kill them?" That guy was like, "Eh, we'll so sound off some alarms." That's probably not going to work. That's probably still going to get people killed, right? So, it seems like the people in the suits are not great, but then also Mr. Robot's crew are not great. It's one of those things that it's like, which one is the better evil, right? And I was thinking the entire time last episode, where does the evil, what does the evil corp logo remind me of? And it reminds me of the E3 logo, which is funny because today, the day that I'm recording, it was announced that E3 is shutting down. What if there's a twist that turns out like the people in the suits I actually like the good guys. I can't see the show going that way, right? There's no way. There was a section of Elliot's speech when he was talking to his uh, to his therapist where he goes on this monologue about what choices are that once again shine a light into the theme of capitalism and consumer culture. I noticed like he starts off his whole speech about choices with starting with products and name brands what are you gonna pick coke or pepsi mcdonald's or burger king and he goes on and on about it and uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, you know consumer culture as well one final thing that i want to talk about is the cinematography i don't actually know if i noticed it in the first episode but i really noticed it in this episode there are a lot of frames here where the characters are off to the side of the frame in the corner of it and there's a kind of like a lot of empty space going on here it's more like it's more like that like this i don't have a problem with it i actually think it's a pretty cool stylistic choice for the cinematography 
and uh yeah i'm enjoying yeah i'm a i'm just a whore for good cinematography so hopefully this show keeps it up and if you enjoyed today's reaction of mr robot episode 2 and you want to see more make sure you leave a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that check out some of my other videos and leave your thoughts down below about mr robot no spoilers remember we still got many many more episodes to go i'll see you guys next time peace